Hello everyone. Let's find out an expression for phase difference and path difference. To do it, first let's define what is phase of a wave. To understand this, phase of a particle indicates two things. It indicates a particle's position or displacement and also it tells about its velocity so phase which is basically an angle it tells about a particle's position or displacement and velocity to understand this let's draw the snapshot of a wave which means at some point of time if we draw the wave it's called a snapshot which means at this point if we take a photo of the wave imagine that we get of this form this is what we get at this point of time after one second it will be different that is if you draw the extreme ends of the particles vibration then what we get is something of this kind is what we get later after some time the particles will have different displacement this is for a given time now if you look at few particles we'll call this as point a this is point b a point c and a point d particles from o to a the particles here are trying to go down they are different displacement they are trying to go down Particles from this point towards C are trying to go up. All these particles are trying to go to higher positions. They are trying to go up. The particle at C is at the other extreme end. It is trying to go up. Similarly, particles from C to say E, these particles are trying to come down like this. But basically, every particle is vibrating about its mean position. This is what we get. If you want to find out what is phase of a given particle, for example, a particle here and a particle here, we'll call this particle 1, this particle 2. Particles 1 and 2, even though they are same displacement, they are different direction of velocity. The particles at B and O, even though particles at B and O have the same displacement, they are different velocity particle o is trying to go down and particle at b is trying to go up this is called as phase phase is an important factor to understand what is a wave's particle's position now here we can connect the phase difference with the path difference which means if you want to find what is the phase of this particle and this particle we can find it by knowing what is their difference in displacement it is called as path difference which means by knowing what the path difference is we can find out what is their phase difference so now let's try to find out what is the relationship between phase difference and path difference to understand this let's recall what is a wave equation so we wrote wave equation as y is equal to a into sin omega t minus k into x. This is what is the wave equation we got. Assuming that the phase difference is 0. Now here this whole thing is an angle. It's called as phi. So let's call this as some constant called as phi. Some constant here. We call anything what you call but books called as phi. Don't get confused with this phi and the phi what we wrote earlier omega t minus kx plus phi. This is the initial phase difference. Don't get confused with those parameters. This is just a name given to it. If it's confusing, you can call it as theta also. Don't get confused here. I'm just using phi to represent this quantity. Now here if you consider two particles on the wave anywhere on the wave then the particles will have different positions 
for example, if you draw a wave like this, at the moment, if you take a snapshot, say it's a wave of this form. So if you take two particles, a particle somewhere here at point A and something at point B, if you take two particles, these particles had different distances. Let the distance of this be x1 from the mean position, distance of this be x2 from the mean position. So x1 and x2 are the positions of the particles from the reference point or mean position. These particles are different velocities and different velocities and different displacements. So they have different phases. So let's call the phase of the particle 1 as phi 1 that is equal to omega t minus kx1 because we are looking at the phase at the same time only. So if you take a photo now and look at it, the particles at A and B are different positions, it's at this time only. So t remains constant because you're trying to find out what is the phase difference at a given time. For particle 2, phi 2 is equal to omega 2 minus k into x2. Now from this, if you take difference of phi 2 minus phi 1 or phi 1 minus phi 2, if any one difference, say phi 1 minus phi 2 is equal to, it will be omega t minus kx1 minus of omega t minus kx2. Now from here, if you open the bracket, this will give us omega t t minus k x1 minus omega t plus k x2. From this omega t gets cancelled. Therefore, what we get is we get phi 1 minus phi 2 is equal to k x2 minus x1. We'll call this as phase difference. So, delta into phi that is equal to k was defined as 2 pi by lambda into we call this as part difference. So phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda into part difference. So if you write it in words we can say phase difference is equal to 2 pi by lambda into path difference. So this is the expression for phase difference and path difference. To make sense out of it, let's draw the snapshot of a wave at a given time. So we take a photo of a wave at some point of time and draw it. Imagine that the wave is like a sine wave at this point of time this is what we get. Let's take from here few particles. With origin O, point A, point B, point C, and point D. If we look at the angles, if you look at this as just a pure sine wave, this is why this is say some angle or omega into t, then this corresponds to angle of pi by 2, this pi, point C corresponds to 3 pi by 2, and point D corresponds to 2 pi. This is what the sine curve is. Now in terms of distances, the distance between 0 to A would be, this would be 1 fourth of the wavelength. Then from O to B would be half of wavelength. From O to C would be 3 fourth of wavelength. And from O to D, this would be lambda. This is known by common experience. Let's try to get the same value by using this expression for phase difference. So, if we look at phase difference between particles say O and B, then the formula is 2 pi by lambda into part difference. The part difference or the distance between O to B would be lambda by 2. So, from here lambda gets cancelled, 2 gets cancelled. Therefore, what I get is the phase difference between particles O, B would be 
just pi which is already known to us similarly if you find the phase difference between particles say b and the d that is between these two particles that will be 2 pi by lambda into part difference again distance between point b and d will be half a wavelength that will be lambda by 2 so it gets cancelled therefore what we get from here would be just pi that's known to us also because if you look at this the angle here is 2 pi this is pi so 2 pi minus pi would be pi so i took some general points here the similar way you can find what is the phase difference for two random points in such cases this formula would help us